So hopefully this is going to be a uh, quick video, but you uh, never really know. This is a uh, kit to upgrade the uh, Hubson uh, remote uh, radio control unit with a built-in uh, video uh, screen for uh, FPV. So it works at uh, 2.4 gigahertz for the uh, controller side of things and 5.8 gigahertz for the video. Now, as I say, this is a uh, kit to upgrade that unit because that unit doesn't have uh, removable antennas on there so there's no way to uh, upgrade the uh, antennas on the unit so basically what they're giving you is a couple of pigtails here and uh, two antennas a panel antenna for the uh, video and uh, a small dipole antenna for the uh, 2.4 gigahertz control unit so basically what it all is is a uh, upgrade kit for that particular unit but uh, I suppose you know uh, most units can be upgraded I suppose what makes this one a little bit more easier is because uh, the uh, actual control unit these are made for have high rose connectors to connect the coax internally inside the unit so it just makes it a lot easier you don't have to uh, start soldering or anything like that you can just pop the high rose connectors off and pop these new ones back on and obviously drill a hole in the unit so uh, you can connect these uh, SMA bulkhead connectors up here and uh, this is uh, called a high rose connector um, it goes by many other different uh, abbreviations but it is a high rose connector it's only designed for around 50 insertions but uh, I would you know I wouldn't try and uh, remove it and connect it back up too many times I've broken these uh, on the first go but normally because I've been too lazy to put my glasses on but uh, basically you can pick these pigtails up pretty damn cheap off eBay you can get around five or six of these for uh, you know about one pounds fifty and free shipping from China they don't cost a great deal of money at all so basically I'm just interested in this and uh, whether this is 14 dbi as they claim because you know if this isn't particularly good and uh, this is classed as a uh, 3 uh, dbi uh, dipole antenna but it's not all these dipoles are at uh, 2.5 it's just that over the years uh, you know they've kind of crept up to uh, 3 dbi but uh, you know unless they're breaking the laws of physics trust me one of these is uh, 2.5 dbi so you're not uh, getting anything uh, special so you could probably just get the pigtails yourself and upgrade your own unit and then you're free to put whatever types of uh, antennas you want on there and seriously if you're going to upgrade this you really don't want to be using this because uh, by the pictures that i've seen on uh, the internet you're just replacing the antenna that's already there with the same antenna you're just making it uh, removable so go for a slightly bigger uh, 5 dbi extendable uh, range dipole antenna and again you can pick them up off ebay for around a pound as well now before i start uh, testing the uh, panel antenna which is what i'm uh, most interested in let's just crack open this uh, little uh, dipole antenna here just to make sure it is uh, 2.4 gigahertz Now remember we have to start measuring where the metal stops on here and uh, if I measure from where the metal stops on there this bit of coax coming out of the top which is the main driven element is 25 millimeters so that's exactly right for 2.4 gigahertz so you could use this on Wi-Fi as well if you wanted to no problem at all but as I said it's not 3 dBi it's uh, 2.5 dBi. So let's take this over to the other bench then and uh, test it on the spectrum analyzer and the simple power test that I use as well. Uh, interesting to note that there's nothing written on this case at all to indicate it's 14 dBi so I'm just going off the seller's description and the description of other sellers as well. So this is a bit of a surprise then, I've got it on the uh, test setup on the spectrum analyzer as you can see there but uh, let's take a look at the output and look how nice that output is. So I've got the spectrum analyzer centered there on 5.830 gigahertz but uh, look how wide the uh, bandwidth is on the operation of this little uh, panel antenna really nice frequency response all the way up here so it'll work into the uh, 6 gigahertz and all the way down there as well so it's a lovely wideband uh, panel antenna i'm a little bit surprised how uh, nice this looks on the spectrum analyzer so it's operating really nicely in this uh, given frequency here jumping up and down a little bit because I've got my uh, hand 
in the way of it and uh, it does interfere slightly but uh, you know that's a really nice band of operation there so let's do the power test then and see how well it comes out with that um, I'm kind of thinking it's not going to be 14 dBi but uh, I'm surprised with this test so uh, maybe we'll be surprised with the power test as well so here on the power test setup then we're getting around 4 milliwatts of power so not really an impressive antenna and nowhere near the 14 dBi that's claimed with this it's probably around uh, 6 or 7 so uh, you know a nice output on the spectrum analyzer but nowhere near the 14 dBi but we see that a lot with these cheap panel antennas so let's crack this open then and uh, see what's going on inside I don't think there's any glue it's just uh, held in there with some plastic posts so the first thing I notice is this case they've done a uh, great job of uh, either producing the PCB to fit the case or they've had the case made to fit the PCB I think it's the other way around because uh, we've got the holes in the PCB and we've got uh, holes here and here but uh, there's no uh, pillars to uh, go through these but it does a really good job of holding that in place and then when you snap this on oh, there are pillars on this side that go through those holes there so they haven't uh, cut the holes to the PCB to fit the case I think uh, this is a case made for this so when this goes on top sandwiches on top does a really good job of holding that antenna in place so it can't move around so yeah I'm impressed with that so here's a closer look at it now we've got it out of its case then you can see it's got four elements etched into a PCB the ground plane is on the back there but the elements themselves are a little bit smaller than what uh, you know we've seen uh, in previous videos this is uh, the metal elements out of one of the uh, panel antennas we've looked at previously that's been you know quite nice when we've modified them I mean uh, they were pretty cheap when we bought them with the tin foil background but you can see these uh, elements here are about uh, three quarters uh, less in size than these ones it's not quite half the size but uh, they are certainly smaller and I think what might be going on with this is uh, this arrangement just here so let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that these uh, tracks here the kind of an L shaped here and then an L shaped there you sometimes see these on these panel antennas when they're circular polarized uh, as I said this is uh, not circular polarized it's linear and uh, you sometimes see it where you don't have this leg here and you just have the L-shaped leg here and that will delay the feed into the uh, little uh, elements here so this side will get the feed quicker than this side so you can achieve circular polarization that way so I'm wondering if this in this case is acting as a ballon and that's how they're getting away with the smaller sized elements I have seen this before and uh, I've said in previous videos that I do think this is some kind of uh, ballon to uh, you know make everything work at 5.8 gigahertz and that seems to be what's going on here but uh, you know panel antennas there's some really complex designs and they don't tend to follow uh, you know sometimes size some, sometimes the sizes can be all over the place and not what you would expect but uh, this uh, panel antenna did perform really really well on the spectrum analyzer just not as powerful as uh, they make out in the description so you know really interesting antenna and uh, for the money I suppose uh, you can't go wrong really for around uh, six seven pounds you know that way you get the kit you can probably uh, use the uh, pigtails in uh, a different project maybe I mean the dipole is just ten a penny it's not really uh, you know worth anything you can buy them for 25 pence on eBay but uh, yeah nice performing antenna at that frequency just not the uh, 14 dBi that they uh, claim it has so an interesting uh, little panel antenna with uh, you know performance output on the spectrum analyzer better than what uh, I anticipated but nowhere near the 14 dBi that's claimed with this uh, antenna but uh, you know we've come to expect that with a lot of these uh, cheap Chinese brands but uh, as a kit I mean uh, you know if you've got one of those uh, uh, video receivers and uh, radio transmitters I would just go and get yourself some pigtails 
with some uh, high rows uh, connections on the end and just modify it yourself that way and then you're free to choose uh, you know a better quality antenna and uh, you'll be a lot happier doing it that way and it'll be cheaper in the long run as well so we'll definitely be looking at uh, this antenna in future videos when I'm designing a uh, panel antenna for 5.8 gigahertz and yes I will be doing one uh, probably in the autumn time where we'll look at one for uh, 2.4 gigahertz as well because I want to look at some fractal antennas as well but uh, we're going to spend the time on the 5.8 gigahertz first so if you did enjoy the video please give it a uh, thumbs up if you've purchased one of these kits let us know how uh, well you think it performed and uh, if you've got any comments or questions drop them below I'll do my best to answer them and hopefully you'll join me on the next one